Welcome back, Tater Tots, to my channel for a new episode of the K-Drama Legacy Generation 1 Fisherman's Daughter, Episode 11. So in the last episode, Yuna, Soe, Mean, and Dohuan headed to the Sulani Beach Club where a party was happening, and Yuna was able to spend some time alone with Hyungsik, where she found out about his childhood and his connection to the island of Sulani. They also came close to almost kissing, and her mind is going crazy over it, so she she spent some time with Sohee and learned more about him, and then she had to help Mean out since our girl got drunk and kissed Dohuan. Yes, I know. That being said, Mean and Dohuan met up to talk about things, and long story short, they have decided to be in a relationship. So Yuna doesn't know about it yet, but she has her own worries. It's Hyung Six and her an address to meet him at, and that is where it leads us to the start of today's episode. The night had arrived. I checked Hyung Sik's message again to verify the address and time. I was feeling so anxious. I mean, why was he being so mysterious? Couldn't we just meet somewhere in town? My nerves were a jumbled mess. Regardless, it was no question. Of course I'd be going. I would never miss a chance to spend more time with him, especially after realizing how strong my feelings were beginning to be. After almost, you know. Oh, Sulani, I can't even think about it. The night was calm with a cool breeze, making its way through each of the palm trees. I loved the sound of the rustling leaves, crickets, and gentle waves. It was literally the perfect night. I couldn't have asked for better weather. Before long, I arrived at the spot Hyung Sik had said to meet at. There was a single house sitting close to the shore, a crackling fire, and a few log benches. As I made my way closer, I could see the silhouette of a man against the flames. I approached cautiously, calling out, Hyung Sik, is that you? The man stood and turned. To my relief, it was him. Yuna, you made it. I was worried you might have gotten lost. I gave him a firm look. Hey, I may have never been here, but I know how to follow directions. He laughed. I was only teasing. The laughter coming to an end, I gazed around, taking in everything. So, where are we? What is this place? Hyung Sik looked thoughtful for a moment and spoke. This... this is where my dad raised me. He bought this house when he first moved out of his parents, so when my mom and dad got married and had me, we lived here for a while. Now I understood why I had never been here or even knew about it. This place was special. It belonged to Hyung Sik and his father. It's beautiful. How many years did you live in it? Well, pretty much up until my dad passed away. Here and there we would travel and live for a few weeks at a time in other places, but this was home. Once dad was gone, mom immediately moved us away to the city. So, do you still own it? I asked curiously. Yeah, my grandpa bought the house and held on to it until he died. Then he passed it on to me in his will. That way mom couldn't touch it. After all, he knew what it meant to me. I see. I wasn't quite sure what else to say. This place held so much sentimental meaning for him. Have you stayed here a lot since then? He looked up at the sky. Nah, unfortunately, I was pretty much whisked away into my mom's world. I was sent to private schools, traveled to different countries with her, started learning the business, so I didn't have too much free time. That's why as soon as I'd graduated, I started trying to figure out how to get myself back here. I leaned forward in curiosity. So, what did you do? I simply did everything Mom asked me to do so she wouldn't suspect anything. I went around getting her contracts renewed and upselling things for the company. Then when she was out of town for an extended business trip, I made my move and flew here. Of course, that only lasted about a week. Obviously, she found me and knew where I'd be. He looked a bit disheartened, so I decided to speak up. Who cares? I mean, you're a grown man and can make your own choices. Plus, some would say it would have been more irresponsible to not check on your own property. You know, if you're a homeowner. If anything, she should be applauding your maturity. Hyung Sik gave me a look of surprise and laughed. <laughs> you know, Yuna, you always catch me off guard with your responses. I never know what you're going to say, especially when it comes to my mom. He chuckled. I looked away, feeling a bit embarrassed. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so blunt about things. Hyung-sik smiled. Nah, you've got absolutely no reason to apologize. 
It's refreshing to hear someone say stuff like that. Usually, everyone's too scared of her and won't say anything because they're afraid of the backlash they might get if they tell me. I could feel a bit of confidence building up inside. Well, I believe honesty is always the best policy. Telling people what they want to hear won't get you very far, nor help you save face. There was silence for several minutes as we both quietly listened to the palms rustling in the breeze and the sea lapping along the shoreline. Then it was broken by the sound of his warm, deep voice. Honesty, huh? Speaking of that, I think it's time to pick up where we left off. I was startled. I hadn't expected a change in the subject like that. What was I supposed to say? I laughed nervously and scratched my head. Where we left off? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I trailed off. Hyungsik made his way closer towards me and smirked. Oh? Okay. You mean to tell me you don't remember. Right. What were we just talking about? Honesty? He had me. I couldn't get out of it. Oh, <laughs> that. I remember now. Good. Now. Back to the question I asked you before. Am I just a friend? Or more than a friend? He looked at me with determination. There was no way I couldn't answer him. I, uh, well, I mean, we're friends, of course. I really enjoy spending time with you and hanging out, and, and I like that you get along with my friends. He pursed his lips and looked off to the side. I knew I must have messed up again. So I did my best to fix it. Uh, what I mean is, um, I enjoy spending time with you more than anyone else. Well, Mina's different since she's basically like a sister to me, but as a guy, I've never spent so much time with a guy before. Well, I did go on those blind dates, but they were all terrible. Nothing like you. I mean, they weren't that bad, but you're definitely the best looking out of all of them. After all, you're the only one that makes me nervous every time you're around. At this, he turned back to look at me. Having his eyes back on me made my face flush. So what could I do but continue my word vomit? Uh, not in a bad way, like a good nervous. Yeah, like when we talked last time, I was worried you might not ever open up to me, but then you did, and then you, you seemed like you were gonna... I didn't want to say it out loud. Hyungsik walked over, standing just as close as last time, his eyes piercing into mine. Like I was gonna what? I hesitated, but finally mumbled. Like you were gonna kiss me, I gulped. He took in a deep breath. Were you disappointed? I looked away, feeling embarrassed, but not in my head. A smirk drew across his face as he leaned in and whispered. You weren't the only one. He lifted his hand and caressed the side of my face, leaning closer. All I could hear was my pounding heart. I too leaned in closer, unable to look away. Before I knew what was happening, our lips had met. They were soft, warm, and tasted sweet. He wrapped his arms around me, pulling me closer as I did the same. This was the moment I'd been waiting for. It felt as though time had stopped. It was only the two of us in that moment. No problems, no worries, just peace and happiness. I didn't want it to end. Everything was so perfect, magical even. He pulled away for a moment, breathing heavily. Are you... He started to ask, but I cut him off. I'm fine, and pulled him back in. It went on for a while. Um, <laughs> how long? I'm not sure to be honest, not that it mattered. There were so many emotions swirling up that I didn't know what to do with them. Finally, we pulled away, gazing deeply at each other. Never had I ever felt the way I was feeling in that moment. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay with him, but I knew that I needed to get home soon. Several minutes went by before anything was said. Then Hyungsik spoke up. Hopefully I didn't disappoint this time. I laughed, punching him lightly on the shoulder. Seriously? Of course not. He smiled. That's a relief. Anyway, I know you probably need to get home. 
It's pretty late. The last thing I need is your mom coming after me. Can I see you tomorrow? I pulled away so I could look at him and nodded my head. I'd like that. I'll see you tomorrow then. He smiled. See you tomorrow. We gazed at each other a moment longer, and then I turned to leave. I could feel his eyes on my back as he watched me walking away. I couldn't believe what had just happened, but I was glad that I did. For once, something amazing was happening to me, and it wasn't a dream. Now, I just had to keep it that way. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Yuna is seriously in a daze and in shock and disbelief after everything that just happened last night with Hyungsik. They finally kissed. And I don't know about you guys, but I was so excited and I had way too much fun making the whole intro for this episode. Like, oh, my heart was beating so fast, just like Yuna's. But anyway, so she is just having herself some breakfast. She was feeling so perky. She came in here and she actually made it fresh herself instead of having leftovers, which I thought was just really cute. She's just feeling so good. She's feeling confident in herself. And girl, who are you just to be walking into my house? Excuse you, Jocelyn. You shouldn't just be walking into people's homes. It's, it's just not right. But anyways, looks like our dad and our mom are snoozing as is our sister. And look at all these uh, colorful pet poops we have out here. That's just lovely. <laughs> um, but I guess we can take these to the garbage because I don't have anything that I need to like fertilize you know, like with plants. So we're just gonna, yeah, throw these away and throw these burgers in the fridge so we don't lose them. But anyways, she is, yeah, just feeling on cloud nine. She doesn't know what to do with herself. She feels giddy, she feels nervous. And you know, her mom, when she was awake earlier, she thought Yuna was acting a little funny, but she was happy to see that her daughter seems so happy, but she's like, she seems unusually happy. So we're gonna have to kind of see what happens there. If her mom's gonna ask her about it, I don't know. And also Yuna does have work today. She does go in at two o'clock. So she has work in five hours. I'm really hoping over the next couple of days, we can try to get her up for another promotion. Maybe her hours will be better because I just don't like her working like all in the middle of the day like that and oh I still have the sleeping bags out from when Neen spent the night but that is okay and so she is needing to talk to Mean because she's just like oh my gosh I have to talk to her I have to tell her I need to tell someone like she can't just keep this all bottled up inside to herself so we're definitely gonna have to uh, take care of that but then what was the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys oh Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that she's feeling nervous in the in a sense of like they kissed and everything, but she's like, but does that mean like we're a thing? Is that an item? Like, or is he, did he just kiss me just because he felt like kissing me and he thinks I'm cute? She's like, I don't know. I'm just so frustrated, but I'm I'm so excited. Like, see, she goes from being angry to laughing, and oh my gosh, she is just she just doesn't know what to do and you know that is okay it looks like her dad has woken up to check on her oh speak of the devil look at that it looks like mean is calling her right now and you know she's like i have so much i need to tell you like where have you been i feel like there's just been so much going on and i just i need my bestie and means like oh my gosh girl like calm down obviously something happened and i have something that i have to tell you because something major happened like major news and oh <gasps> young sick could not wait to see her so he came over on his own. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, girl. Go see our boy. Young Sick. OMG. Like, what are you doing here? She's like, I didn't expect you to come to my house. Like, and he's like, oh, of course. I, I really wanted to see you. So, oh my gosh. That is so adorable. Can we like, okay, wait, stop. Of course, everything is breaking. I'm going to have her dad come over here and repair this because we don't have time for it. And we're going to add him to our group so that we can hopefully come out here away from everyone. Like, yeah, guys, come over here together because I don't want the whole family like watching. That's just kind of weird, you know, and awkward. So anyways, we're going to be over here and let's have a little chit chat with him. She's going to flirt a little bit. Try to flirt. Oh my gosh, girl. 
because she's sad. You'll get over it. She's like, oh, hey, young sick. It's, I'm so glad to see you. And oh my gosh, he rejected her. He's feeling embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to pretend that that didn't happen because that just seems weird. So let's have them do an inside joke. It's probably because she's sad. She's going to complain and vent about her problems a little bit right now just because, let's see, what's going on right here? Purpose of life. She's like, you know, I just... I'm really working hard to try to get promoted at my job, but I'm getting a little bit frustrated. Like I, you know how I told you I want to be a cook and everything like that, like own my own restaurant one day. And he's like, yeah, I think that's really great. Like, just don't stress out about it. Like, I'm sure you'll get there. And she's like, it's just hard because not everyone's working with me. And I just, I'm not sure how to go about it. Oh my gosh, Dohuan, of course, you're just walking around with your shirt off, still looking for me. So Hyung Sik and Yuna have been just out here chatting it up and talking. Of course, she switched into her swimsuit, but you know, we'll just pretend she didn't do that. But he's like, yeah, I just wanted to stop by and see you. I know you had to go to work today. And you know, last night I uh, said that I wanted to see you. And she's like, uh, yeah. And he's like, you, uh, you doing okay? Everything's good? And she's like, yeah, for the most part. And so, of course, he's not going to sit here and uh, just kiss her right in front of her house. Like, you know, but I mean, the, we'd be lying if the boy said he wasn't looking at her lips, you know? And oh my gosh, of course, he's going to, everybody comes in here and cries over the swordfish, which is just kind of annoying. But yeah, so it looks like he came in to chat with her family because he knows that um, you know, he wants to make a good impression and everything. So, I mean, can you blame the boy? He's trying to look good. And um, I'm pretty sure Soa is probably going to be thrilled to see him, except for the fact that she's not ready for the day. So let's go ahead and have her um, come over. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's mopping up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have her come in here and she'll just grab some leftovers to eat. And that way she will chat. Oh, there goes Yuna off to work. Best of luck, honey. You will do great. And so, okay, so uh, come over and talk to Hyung Sik. Looks like he's grabbing himself some. Gr oh, he's cleaning. What an angel. He's always such a sweetheart. But so I was like, oh my goodness, Hyung Sik, what are you doing over here this afternoon? Uh, please excuse my appearance and my my hairy legs that never stopped growing. And he's like, oh, you know, I just thought I'd stop by and say hi to you. I know she had to head to work and everything. She's like, oh, oh, did you stop by to see my daughter? Well, that's just so sweet of you. What are you busy doing today? And he's like, oh, you know, I'm just hanging out and um, over at the hotel and things like that, just relaxing. She's like, oh, okay, well, you know, you're always welcome to stay for dinner or, you know, whatever, stay for, like in Mulan, would you like to stay forever? <laughs> That's what that makes me think of. But, oh my goodness, it's, I thought something else just broke, but maybe it was just me. I hope it was just me. But anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and just have her family get through the rest of the day. It looks like her dad is sleeping and what is this? Hanyul? She's like, oh my gosh, this guy is like super cute, but I think Yuna's super into him. Mom obviously wants them to be together. And hey, Hanyul, we're having a little get together before prom. Do you want to join? No, we don't. She's going to complain about her parents literally right in front of her mom because that's just so something Hanyul will do. She's like, oh my gosh, mom, why are you always so embarrassing? Like, you just have to like try to set people up and oh hey do Juan, you just like walking into the house seeing what's up i guess we'll get a uh, chin hey up because he really loves do Juan. he really gets along with him which i think is super cute and so he's just gonna enthuse with him oh it looks like hyung sik needs to go he's like yeah i gotta get going i'll see you guys later thanks for the invite though and so i was like of course come back whenever you want young man look he's still just sitting there he's like Oh, Yuna, I'm so tired. We stayed up way too late last night. I'm going to go back to the hotel and get some Z's. Oh my gosh. Hyung Sik has invited, <laughs> has invited Yuna's mom to the romance festival. I fancy some Sakura tea. Want to come and get some the romance festival with me? Oh my gosh, that's just too funny. <laughs> like, that's so awkward. Like, that would not really happen. Maybe he's just seeking advice. Or, hey, maybe he's inviting her mom out because he's trying to get to know Yuna more and he's trying to make a big impression. But we're not going to have them go to the romance festival together. Yuna will be getting home very soon and we looks like we have the event extra food coming over and so her dad's friend Songho has stopped by he brought some food he was just like hey I got some extras from my fishing trip I went on recently so Chin Hey, he's super 
excited to see his bestie. He's going to come and tell him a funny story. He's like, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe what happened to me on the last trip. Song was like, oh man, tell me all about it. I want to hear it. So they are just chatting it up. And Yuna was actually able to get her performance up quite a bit. So I'm really hoping that maybe when she goes to work tomorrow on Sunday, we'll be able to scoot that baby on up so that we can get her moving along on her career path and achieving her goal. And oh my gosh, look who's here. It's Hakun Wong. He is visiting. Looks like he's like, oh, my, my mom keeps sending me over here. She just wants me to check on you guys, all of that. She's still upset with how things ended, but you know, I'm sorry. Your daughter is just not for me. And Yuna has gotten home. She is feeling pretty uncomfortable. Poor thing is so exhausted. Let's go ahead and get her to come on in here. Use the bathroom. I'll have her quickly release the spirits and then go to bed because I don't want um, her like passing out on us so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let the family continue just chatting it up catching up with their friends and neighbors and i will see you guys tomorrow good morning everyone yuna has woken up once again she's making some egg ramen currently for breakfast for herself and yeah she is unfortunately gonna have to spend her morning taking poor little Barum to the vet because he's not doing well. There is something wrong with him. I'm not quite sure what, but it said that he is sick. And so yeah, we're gonna have to go over there and do that. And oh, it looks like we got uh, part of her aspiration done. So become an adult, reach level four of the culinary career and create three types of excellent food. So that's awesome. So we'll have just one more to make. So that shouldn't be too difficult. So she's having breakfast now and her mother is like, so Yuna, tell me, honey, like you seemed a little out of sorts yesterday morning. What's going on? And she's like, uh, nothing, mom. She's like, well, Hyung Sik stopped by yesterday. I mean, what was that about? And she's like, it's nothing, mom. Like we're friends. And you know, he just, he wanted to see me. She's like, oh, he wanted to see you. Is that all? And so girl I don't think you're gonna be able to hide it from your mom because she knows she knows I mean how could she not think that her daughter's attracted to him I mean look at him he's he's such a little cutie you know so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and have Yuna now that she is feeling great we're gonna go ahead and take Barum to the vet and I'm not gonna take you guys with me for that but I will return once we get him all adjusted and taken care of Yuna just got back with Barum and look at this poor thing. Poor baby has to have his face shoved in a cone because they can't afford to do the, um, like, you know, more expensive treatment. So to cheer him up, we're going to take him on a jog and hopefully that will make this poor boy feel happy. I feel so bad. But I mean, he does look cute. I mean, look at his little curly tail. It's so cute and precious. But anyway, she's like, honey, you gonna take the dog? She's like, yeah, I'm taking him out for a jog. He's pretty sad. You know, I feel bad that we had to put him in this cone. And she's like, okay, well, just be careful. And just know it's it's only gonna be warm today. It's because they officially, guys, as of this morning, we are in the season of fall. Not that I know if we're gonna experience too much of a difference in temperature um, being here in Sulani because I've never lived here like year round, especially. So I have no idea it will be new for me. But yeah, so Yuna is just going to spend a little bit of time doing this before we have to have her head off to work once more. Yuna got home from work and she had a pretty frustrating night. There was some recipes that they had to do that were newer for a client that came in. And needless to say, she kind of burned some of it. And then the other cook she was working with like kind of put all the blame on her for them messing theirs up as well. And so it was just, it was not a great night. So yeah, she is feeling sore and just tired. And so Soa was in there checking on her, trying to make sure she was okay. Cause she could tell that her daughter seemed pretty frustrated. And she's also sad because she didn't get to see Hyung Sik today. And, you know, she knows that he was busy. Apparently his mother needed to meet with him and whatnot. So she's not sure what happened there, but she does have one more day of work and then she'll be off for the next three days so probably on Tuesday is when we're planning to go and visit with Mean. she's like dying to talk with her she's had no one to talk to about it she's just been so jam-packed with things going on with work and then of course taking care of Barham because he wasn't doing well and so ah uh, she just wants to see her boy and get her mind off of some things so we'll definitely have to make sure that these two get to go out soon 
Happy Monday morning, everyone. Yuna has woken up and she has just received a text actually from Hyung Sik inviting her to come out towards the beach, the area where they were at where they got the boba, and if they can spend a little bit of time together before she heads to work, which thankfully it doesn't seem like she has anything to do or errands to run for her mother. So she's like, hey, mom, is it okay if I head to the beach? Um, uh, one of my friends wants to catch up with me. She's like, oh, which friend, honey? She's like, ah, uh, Hyung Sik. And oh my goodness, honey, Hyung Sik, absolutely go ahead. Her mom is not going to fight that because, guys, remember, she wants her daughter to find herself a man. So uh, we're going to head on over. Oh. Yuna has arrived here at the beach where she is meeting with Hyung Sik, and it looks like he has to run to the restroom. So she's going to go ahead and come on in here. Let's get her a bubble tea. Oh, it looks like she is. Oh, she's going to go and make drinks, apparently. She's going to make a dim and gusty. I mean, more power to you, girl. It's a little early in the morning for drinks, I think. But, you know, to each their own. Maybe she's trying to impress him. I mean, he is coming over here. He's like, hey, so what you doing? She's like, oh, well, you know, I think I did tell you that I was a bartender at one point, right? And he's like, oh, yeah, you did mention that. So she's like, yeah, so I kind of know my way around. And so it looks like they are having, a, I don't know why they're having an awkward encounter, but, uh, yeah. So we should try to just make him laugh or something to make it more relaxed. I think it's just awkward or they're feeling embarrassed because they, neither one of them, I think, know quite what to say or do at the moment um, since, you know, they're steamy night together. And so she's just trying to play it by ear. And so she's like, so how did things go with your mom the other day? And he's like, oh, you know, she... Uh, she had a lot of things going on and some new contracts she's working on so she wanted my input because you know I am supposed to be taking part of the business and she's trying to prep me for it all and you know you know she's interested in the conversation but she also just like can't not look at him she's like oh my gosh those blue eyes are just sticking into mine I don't know what to do I don't know how to uh how to get myself to stop feeling like my heart is about to explode out of my chest. Like she is just, whew, she is feeling a certain type of way. Yuna is coming over and I'm gonna see if we can get her to do a bold pickup line because she's feeling really confident right now. She also has a drink, her dim and gusty. She looks like she set it down over here on the table and girl, like, is it gonna go well? I don't know, he's still feeling embarrassed. Oh, he liked it. He did accept it. Phew, he, oh boy, like, you making our girl feel a certain kind of way. They are getting flirty finally. So let's have her officially flirt back. Hopefully we can keep this conversation going. There he goes. He did accept it. Let's have them embrace. She's like, I, uh, I really missed you yesterday. I was sad that I didn't get to see you. And oh my gosh, why do my Sims keep rejecting hugs? Like see, cause then now he just hugged her. Oh my gosh, like seriously, I think it's because of that update. So guys, for the sake of the story, they did not just have that re like rejection. I mean, you did see how he like corrected it there and still at least tugged her back. And mean, what? So I found a ring in Dohan's bag. No, girl. <laughs> I think he is going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Let's talk about this for a second, okay? Dohuan and her just started getting into a relationship and when there's this ring situation going on, I don't believe it's that he's proposing to her, but maybe that he's just getting like some type of a promise ring for the two of them because that's a little early even for Dohuan. Like he still wants to date her for a bit, like and just make sure like he wouldn't just jump into marrying her and even as crazy as he kind of is so i'm gonna say that this is just like a promise ring so girl um we're just going to say oh my gosh because if i say yes like i don't want them to get married right away so i'm just gonna say you should really decide for yourself what do i want i don't know what i want i wanted you to decide for me it's obvious i can't count on you for huge impactful life decisions that don't really concern you thanks for nothing you and you so she's just being moody I think it's that time of the month. Girl, you just need to calm yourself down, okay? Like, only you and Dohan know what's going on in your relationship, and that is that.
Yuna changed into her workout clothes because apparently she was going to try to sit on the yoga mat and do a workout. And Hyungsaek, stop walking away. Like, I swear, this boy, like, he just, he keeps hiding from me. But she's coming out. She's showing him some funny photos. She's like, I took Barham to the vet yesterday. Look at him in his cone. He's like, oh my gosh, you're poor dog. She's like, I know, he looks so adorable. Look, what, how perfect. And so it looks like she is, I don't remember what she was doing. I was going to have her try to hold hands with him, but it looks like they are feeling awkward again. So I don't know. I'm so agitated that they just keep feeling that way. Anyways, as much as I want these two to be able to have a nice flirtatious like little date here, at the same time, they're in public, they're around all these people, and they're not... I don't think they're really one for PDA because he doesn't want to push things with Yuna and then she doesn't want to push things with him because neither I think know where the other one is at like they know they're both into each other and like honestly our girl she's thinking about his lips he's thinking about her lips there's all sorts of lips going on but they're gonna build this little sand sculpture together oh there she is feeling flirty of course romantic atmosphere and I think maybe I'll have them push each other well he'll push her on the swing and then like oh wait does she have work <gasps> she does have work okay she has got to go so I'm sorry young sick we have to go we enjoyed spending a little bit of time with you though thank you Yuna got home a little extra late last night. There was another issue at work, but look guys, she is so close. I think we'll be able to get her promoted when she goes to work and oh my gosh, milestone complete, fantastic. So we finished the first level of her aspiration. So now we just have to reach level eight of the culinary career, which we're almost there. Achieve level five gourmet cooking skill and cook three gourmet dishes at a single event. So, okay, school is stupid. So she's asking Yuna, school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? And Yuna's like, Hanyul, school teaches a lot of important things. Like, stop stressing out over it. Like, we all have to go through it. I know it's not always fun, but like, you're gonna be fine. You've got this. So anyways, Yuna is off work today, so we are going to go and spend time with Mean because we have a lot to talk to our girl about. Our two girls have shown up over here at their usual beach spot, so can I have them both like sunbathe together? I guess I could, so I'm going to go ahead and have, um, I'm going to add Mean to our family just really quick, so that way I can control her. So where, oh my gosh, where do I go? Here we go. Move Sim into active household just temporarily, so that that way we can have them sunbathe together. Don't I have, here we go. These are the two different towels. So sunbathe in swimwear. And then let's have Mean also, no, I don't want you to go home, girl. Come over here and sunbathe in your swimwear as well because our girls need to have a little chat. And, oh my gosh, look, Mean! She's wanting to woohoo with Dohuan. Girl, he be making you feel all sorts of things. He's making her feel the naughty. Oh, snap. Okay, anyways, so it means like, okay, so girl, I have so much that I have to tell you. Okay, so you know how you told me I needed to talk to Dohuan, and Yuna's like, yes, yes, I know, it's been like three or four days, like, tell me what happened, and she's like, so I talked to Dohuan, and girl, I confessed. I told him that I have a crush on him, that I'm into him, and we're officially an item. And Yuna just like sits up. She's like, what? You, like, you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend? And Mean is just like giving her like that big smile. She's like, uh, yeah, girl, that's exactly what I mean. We are an item. And we kissed and it was just so romantic. Everything was perfect. And she's just, you know, she's really happy for Mean. She really is. But at the same time, she's feeling a little envious because she's like, at least like Mean and Dohuan talked about it so they know what they are you know and so um yeah she just wishes let's see us to swing with mean so let's go ahead and do that mean get off your towel we got things to do with our bestie as we keep talking about it and she's like so yeah girl tell me what happened with with you like what did you want to tell me she's like um so Hyungsik invited me out and I ended up going to this house that apparently he actually owns. It was his parents. 
uh, when he was little, he actually lived here on the island, and it means just, oh my gosh, like, girl, he's got, like, such a connection, like, that's so crazy, and Una's like, yeah, that's not all, so... Um, he and Mina's like, girl, you are blushing hardcore. Like, your face is getting so red. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. And Yuna just, like, looks at her and gives her this smile. And Mean is just, like, squealing the best friend squeal. She's like, oh my gosh, girl, you mean to tell me? Like, and Yuna's just, yes, yes, Mean. Okay, we kissed. He kissed me. And Mean is just so ecstatic. Like, she's even more giddy than, like, almost when she was with Do Juan. But that's because she knows Yuna has, like, never really kissed anyone. This is a really big deal for her. And plus, she's over here being is gonna be the first to tell you. She's like, Hyungsik's freaking hot. He's like a model. Like, I can't believe my bestie is going for him. Like, she thinks that, but she, she thinks her boy Do Hwan's even cuter because she's into him, but she's not gonna lie. Hyungsik is very attractive, and Yuna, oh my gosh, she came in here to get some water. She's like, oh my gosh, I gotta get away from Mean. I gotta take a deep breath. Whew, okay. Okay, so yeah, like she is feeling embarrassed, but she's feeling so excited too. And she's like, oh my gosh, I know that mean is really excited for me and I should just let it be what it is. So let's get them to swim here together. Uh, the two of them girl like why do you keep talking to this girl and look at this person straight smashing their face and their chest in the water <laughs> while they do push-ups <laughs> that's too funny okay Yuna girl get out here stop washing why are you dazed mental fog oh because she was working too hard at work it's okay girl she's like standing there like she's a lifeguard maybe she is the local lifeguard oh my gosh she is that's funny I didn't realize that that was an actual thing but I forgot there is a part-time job for that so anyways these two are just taking a dip and Mina's just like girl like I can't believe we both kissed the boys that we like this is crazy we need to start we need to plan a double date or something that would be so fun and you know you know she's down for it but at the same time she's just like mean but like what if what if he's not like into me like for a relationship and she's like girl why would he not be into you he obviously kissed you like I don't think you really have anything to worry about and you know it's just well that's easy for you to say like Do Juan lives here Hyungsik doesn't like he's just here because of his mom and his ties to the island it doesn't mean that he's gonna stick around and so that's got her really thinking a lot of different things which is making me feel sad because you can tell she's feeling sad she's feeling hurt and I'm assuming okay because that stinking update did stuff where it's like making people yeah have hurt sentiments and they're just being mean like I'm just getting so agitated with it but anyways mean she's she's really hopeful for Yuna she gets why her friend is feeling that way and she doesn't like knowing that her friend feels like that but she understands her concern, but she's gonna think on the positive side and just really try to support her because that's what besties do. They're like sisters. And she's like, Yuna, just really, you just need to cheer up. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this and we're gonna figure it out. Like we should do a double date and then I can have Do Juan try to, you know, spend a little bit of time with Young Sik alone and chat with him or something like that. So that way we can try to figure out like what is his game plan? What is he planning on doing and everything like that that way you guys can figure out your relationship so I think Yuna is really appreciative of that but at the same time it makes her nervous because she wants to know but she doesn't want to know because she doesn't want to get her hopes up she's feeling so much excitement and just it's new and refreshing and look there he is right on cue Do Juan he's like I thought I saw my girl in her bikini so I came right over this way but anyways guys I think this episode has had a lot of things happen we're trying to figure out the relationships and the confusion and oh young love so anyways thank you so much tater tots for joining me on this new episode of the k-drama legacy and again i hope you guys enjoyed the intro i had a lot of fun with that and i had this goofy smile on my face while i was doing it because i was just like this is the episode everyone this is the moment so anyways i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one so thank you for your support if you aren't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the future episodes and hit that like button to let me know that you guys are enjoying it and please leave a comment let me know what you guys are liking which couples are you rooting for what do you think is gonna happen 
Oh, so many things. So once again, thank you, Tater Tots, and I will catch you next time. See ya! Because for you.